Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I do apologize for the absence. In this video, if you can tell by the title, I'm going to explain what's been going on. Um, I have to say it's been pretty great things and I'm, I'm very, very happy at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, dang, where are the videos? <laughs> so anyways, I'm coming back and I'm bringing more videos. Um, but I just wanted to explain a little bit of why I've been away. Um, first and foremost, thank you to anyone who has graciously clicked on this video. I know it's been literally months since I've uploaded. Um, and to all the new subscribers, because I just made 15K, which is so exciting. Um, welcome and thank you. I'm going to continue to provide the same content and actually throw in some new things. So I hope that you guys will stay tuned. Um, all right, so on to the excuses. <laughs> um, basically, we just bought a house and it's been one of the most wonderful things I've ever experienced. Um, this is my first time buying a home, and so I don't know if any of you out there have done that, but you just, you feel like you're truly adulting. <laughs> so that's been one of the things that um, has kind of been a distraction because we, the whole process was during my absence. I mean, the looking, we had to find a realtor, and, and then we went house hunting, and I thought like maybe I should put some of this on my YouTube channel, but honestly, it was a little bit private, so I didn't want to, I don't know, I just got worried about it, so I was like, no, this is gonna be our thing. So <laughs> I will share a little bit of the home um, with you all, but there's so much that's gonna change from the walls to um, decor, just so many things are gonna be changing, so I'll just kinda like take you guys along the process of like the updates and stuff that we do. Um, but yes, yeah, so we bought a home, and that meant that we needed to transition our entire life onto a completely different side of town, well, a different community, and then um, our boys, which brings me to my next thing. Um, we recently took in my stepson, so now we actually have a, an elementary school student, a middle school student, and a high school student. So you can imagine what that was like transferring all three boys to new schools and trying to um, do that without like kids missing school and just mess, they miss school um, and that's that. So anyways, moving on, new house, new child, um, and not a new baby, new child. <laughs> so we have these, these new things that have been happening um, and that's probably the most, the biggest things that have been happening, but as you can see, it can cause a lot of disruption and, and just change and it can cause a little bit of like trying to reorganize and trying to restructure and therefore uh, neglect in, in many things, which brings me to my third thing, my hair. My hair is currently about two weeks post relaxer. Um, it is, I did clip my ends uh, recently. I wanna say, was that last weekend? I think last weekend I clipped my ends. Um, but. Hey mom, how do you uh, get it to where the video I made? Can I show you what I'm doing? Yes, so, um, as I was saying, what was I saying? Huh? You just clipped your ends. Oh, so, thank you. Um, okay, so I just clipped my ends last weekend. Um, and what I noticed is I was almost at the same point that I normally get to, I feel like now, annually, where I need to cut like four or five inches off my hair. I was almost there. I didn't cut that much. I could have cut a little more, um, but I'm trying to gradually do it because I'm not searching for my hair to be all one length. And I think that that's where I was going with that other process, constantly cutting like chunks and chunks and chunks. Um, but so what I did is kind of went through and cut through my hair. So I think that helped and that's what I'm probably gonna do moving forward so that I can make sure that I'm keeping the health of my hair um, as well as getting rid of the dead weight without cutting off unnecessary hair. So I have been not only neglecting you guys, but I have also neglected my hair. I have not been deep conditioning once a week like I used to. I also have like maybe a whole week will go by and I've just been putting my hair up in the same exact style and I feel really bad about it because that does not help the health of your hair because you're not moisturizing regularly, you're not um, detangling regularly to you know low manipulation detangling. So it it does definitely caused my hair to um, shed more than I wanted it to, and it causes some cause some breakage. Breakage. Um, lastly, my last relaxer break or the time in between the relaxer, I went up to 11 weeks. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I do not stretch because 
I just don't think that my hair likes it very much. The two textures just, it doesn't work well and they're pulling too hard. Um, it just, it causes all this extra manipulation. Not to mention I have a really, really, really bad like tick or something to where there are certain areas of my hair where I just have to detangle the new girl. So I'm not supposed to stretch my hair as far as I'm concerned. But I did to 11 weeks and I think that that caused some damage in some areas because I couldn't really keep my hands out of it. And then combing through the two different textures obviously caused some breakage. Um, but it wasn't enough to where I need to like go bald or anything. So I'm not that concerned, I'm not that worried. But it definitely made me realize that consistency is where it's at. I'm gonna have to get back to doing things the way that I used to do them before. Um, I know that in the beginning of my hair journey, I was very strict with the things that I did with my hair. Um, as far as my relaxers, eight weeks, and just leaving it straight at that, making sure that it was just a touch up. I do not add on the rest of my hair, um, add the relaxer to, the, to my already relaxed hair. Um, and making sure that I was moisturizing with products, even if the product was heavier than I'd like, I would still moisturize with products. I even backed up on that a little bit. Um, I haven't had some of my like staples for a long time. I just haven't even had the energy to like go searching for anything. Um, my she leave-in conditioner that I just love, um, the keratin leave-in conditioner. I haven't had that for months now, and. I just feel like my hair really responded to that, so I feel you know, like I've been neglecting it and that I haven't even made any attempt to find that product um, since I ran out. So, it's not just you guys that I've neglected, but I am making a, um, a, a pledge here to, to myself that I'm going to continue doing this, and if I'm going to continue doing it, I'm gonna have to be consistent, and that goes along with my hair. So. That's pretty much it. I know this was a quick update video. I just wanted to share with you guys because some videos are gonna start rolling out and I just wanna, I didn't wanna just throw them out there and, and not, you know, speak to the elephant in the room. Yes, I was gone for a while, but I'm back. Um, and I hope you guys continue to tune in. So until next time, you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video. Bye.